nibdew blewe l-istorja tana tal-lum fejn serin laqaw komma George Bajada. Il-persuna li id-disinja il-logo tal-program Maltese Down Under. Our guest today is a very special guest. First of all, because he's the person who created the Maltese Down Under TV logo. And second of all, because I have known George, and his name is George Bayada. <laughs> <laughs> I have known George since the primary, primary school, school days. So we go way back. George, thank you so much for your time today and for being here with us on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, I mentioned the logo. And everyone's been saying how great the logo looks and that the colours remind them of the Mediterranean. So tell us more about how you came up with the logo. Well, I got really excited, first of all, when you first told me. And so you have to have a bit of excitement in the, <laughs> in the, in the mix. The brief was something to do with Malta, of course, uh, because the target audience is the Maltese community. And, um, and we're thinking of Malta, sea, Mediterranean Sea, Malta surrounded by the sea, Daisa, Lutsu, and Those there colors. it was. And the colourful, it's the colours of the Daisa, pretty much. Yeah. Now, as I, as I mentioned, we go back to primary school, but then obviously you go to secondary school and then you sort of lose track of each other yeah. when you're not at school together anymore. That's right. So tell us, were you always interested in, in graphic design? Were you always artistic? I always had that thing. I've been drawing since I was a kid. I was pretty good in technical drawings at school, at secondary school. Also, I've, I've been doing some sketches in the old university in Valletta. And um, yeah, but I always had that drawing, but it didn't develop at early stages, early years of my life. Um, it, it developed more when I came here in Australia. Tell yeah. us more about your family's migration story and then yeah. your migration story. Yeah. Um, well, my parents emigrated um, to Australia back in the 60s, in um, 1965. My big brother Joseph was five years old. And, um, and uh, actually my mum was pregnant at the time when she was emigrating to Australia. Yes, I was born in Mentorville, New South Wales. Three years old, my parents moved back to Malta. That was back in the 1971. And um, yeah, we took the ship back um, to Malta. Back then it was more popular than the... Everyone um, did back then. Yes. Yeah. I always wanted to come back to Australia. And when I was 19, I decided um, to come back. I packed my bags and came with $500. <laughs> and I studied here. I studied technical drawing uh, um, as a drafting at, at TAFE. And you migrated to Sydney. To Sydney, that's yeah. right. I went, I went to Sydney. Mm -hmm. And that's where I did my TAFE uh, course in technical drawings. And back then, I wasn't sure whether if I'm going to live here or live in Malta. I had to make a decision. So I gave Malta another try. I went back to Malta um, working as an electrical draftsman. Mm -hmm. um, lived there for three years, and I've realised that I had more opportunities here in Australia. And in 94. I moved back and I never looked back. And as we said, you were in Sydney. Yes, that's so right. So only recently you made the move to Melbourne. What brought you to Melbourne? Oh, I always liked Melbourne. And um, every time I visit to Melbourne, um, there is always something that attracts me. There and is a vibe, isn't there? There is. <laughs> there, is there is lots more than a vibe. Yeah. And um, it always... But at that time, I was in Sydney 20, 20 years. and. Um, it never was the right time to move until I met Pete and, um, and he had the same intentions and we moved with our two cats, Zeus and Strudel. <laughs> I mean, being born here and, and then going to Malta and, and spending all those years in Malta and then coming back here and then trying to go back to Malta and then all of a sudden saying, no, nah, no, nah, Australia yeah. is, is the country which I choose. How do you consider yourself Australian Maltese, Maltese Australian, Mal Australian of Maltese background? It's a hard decision to make, <laughs> actually, because it's sort of like half and half, but I consider myself now more Australian because I lived on Australian land more than I have lived in, in yeah. Malta. So I, um, I'm happy to be, I'm glad that I'm here in Australia. I'm happy when I go back to Malta and visit family and um, I consider myself 
Australian Maltese. لا البوفتي تاع المالتي على التلسبيتاتوري تاع المالتين وشك. جورج كيف عدنا مرو لورا الزميل البريماريا. و دايم نفتكرك بحال دايم فاتيفيتا كونتينوا دق فوق البال كدا انكانتاو وصفين من كله شاملنا. دايم. شتم مسيا. نفلة المسيا. امين لورا مالتا تبقى لك الجنتوري تيك والفاميليا كلها تيك اما شتم مسيا بارتيكولارمنت من الجزائر مالتين. Um, very good question. Um, <laughs> Lakta lin misya wa il bahar mediterran. Um, Metamur Malta, um, il bahar mediterran, it's unique. And um, um, il familia, of course, and um, in madayam il bahar dayam yijbitni lin Malta. و تحس تحس ليات فورس القدم هفنا مالتين يعزل ليا نجراو ونك ويقطع ونمر كبير تسنين مبات متى يجو ساب شيرت راو يمر لورا مالتا تحس لي فورس يقطع شدار با يجري دان وكل اي حسبتها حسبت هفنا فوق دم مش نرت راو فعلا حسبتها فوق دان دان الحسب حسبت هفنا فوق او اجي في ريم ما و دايما كنت نحسب اللي دايما هنلتي الى مالطا اما ام ام عندي حسابي هور اللي لاستراليا او بوستير هفنا فين تستطيع تيرا سبيشالمنت ام تازمانيا اند ام ينا نحسب امك هاي البحني طيب طيب من مالطا لسيدني من سيدني على ملبورن بتاع تازمانيا ازات جورج جراتس هفنا تاع الهين تياك اللوم فيرا حتى تشيرنا راك ورا تان سنين و جراتس هفنا تاع تاع اللوجو اللي عملت لنا اللي شوارا كلش اللوجو اللي هلا جورج تستايت هو الليماجني اللي مال تيف تو البروجرام تاعكم تاع راو تشيرنا تاع راو ديك ام دي يو مالتي Down under the Kia Creazioni George Bayada. So, George, thank you so much for your time today. Grazie, Hafna. <laughs>